Due to the recent events of sexual assault in the media, awareness of this issue is more important than ever. Sexual harassment is any unwanted or untoward uh, attempt for sexual contact. Sexual harassment can be an e even verbal things where a person makes verbal threats, verbal uh, suggestions, all those things can be considered sexual harassment and should be obviously avoided. I think sexual harassment is really any, if you like come up to a person you don't know or know and just start touching them or feeling them up and I think just anything that makes that person uncomfortable would count as that. I've, I've personally been sexually harassed multiple times, um, actually quite frequently. Um, actually, like last weekend, I was downtown with my friends. We were just like taking pictures for fun, um, and someone yelled at us as we were walking by. It's just those little things like that. I don't think people realize the extent of sexual harassment and what counts as sexual harassment. So a lot of people will do it, but like don't think that it's a problem. I don't see how being sexually harassed or you know being harassed in any way, shape, or form couldn't affect your self-esteem. Obviously. Words matter, what people say matters, people's actions matter more than that. Um, and everyone's going to be affected by these things, it'd be impossible not to. The thought of being harassed does affect where I go because I'm downtown a lot. If we hear something, we just, we have to ignore it because it's scary if you say something and they react and it, you just, you don't want anything to happen. People everywhere are taking preventative measures to try and avoid this harassment. I, I mean, I carry mace in my purse, in my car, in my backpack. I, I never walk on the same side of the street as someone if I'm walking alone. Um, I make sure to, you know, not go out at night if I can help it. A victim always has the right to defend themselves, and that's, you know, obviously the defense has to be appropriate to the circumstances, but they have the right to protect themselves against sexual harassment. When it comes to things like catcalling, it's most people just deal with it. Most, most women have experienced it, and they just take it as a given. They don't try to do anything about it. And I think we should educate everyone on that it's not okay. A lot of people are sexually harassed in the workplace and let that happen. And the, the worst thing in the world is not to report it because when you don't report it, that perpetrator gets away with uh, conduct that they shouldn't get away with. Everyone knows someone who's been harassed. Everyone, every woman probably has been harassed at some point in their life. Um, it's an experience that we all can relate to. Um, unfortunately, sexual assault, sexual harassment in general, it's considered to be a women's issue, but it's not. It's an everyone issue. Um, it's not something that can be shoved to the side like other political topics. It's just, it needs to be front and center. We need to be talking about this like we talk about the economy. Encouraging you to be safe and aware, this has been Kelsey Zimmerman and Mariah Oki Thomas reporting.